Hi, I'm Ian. I play for the Trash Pandas, and I'm going to show you how to suit up as a skater. Underlayer. It's a kind of a jock strap, but it has padding on it. Cups already in, and it's just like an Under Armour shirt. It's wick sweat away from you. Next up, put on the pants. Pant the pants have pads all the way around. If you haven't gone to the bathroom yet, before you put the pants on, it's a good time to do that. So pants normally tie up in the front and then have a buckle that you buckle up and get tight so they don't come off of you. Next up, I put on my socks. These are gonna go on the outside of your shin guards once you get those on. Next up, I lace up my skates. Skates, I have wax laces on my skates. I like these because once they're tight, they normally stay tighter than normal laces. Get yourself some wax laces. If you get it too tight, it might bite into your sock or bite into this part, but personal preference on that. All right, so I got my skates on, I got my socks on, I got my pants on. Let's get some uh, shin guards on. Shin guards, they're probably your busiest pads as far as what gets hit the most. You're getting hit with sticks and whatnot. So I take my socks and I push them down on my skates so I can see the the tongues. Most of your skates will tell you which one goes on which, uh, your skates, your pads, will tell you which one goes on your what leg. This is my left one. I put mine in front of the tongue on my skate. Some people go as far as uh, putting tape over their straps in case they come loose. Mine are really good about staying tight, so I don't. And I go with knit socks because I'm a purist. And I just like the way they look better. Then I take some clear tape. Do a little ring around the top. Not too tight. Don't want to cut off your circulation. Some people tie around the outside. That's just all personal preference. All right, next we got to get the tops on. You don't often in this level of play get hit too much in the top pad if you're a forward defenseman, maybe a little bit more so. But if you do, you'll wish you had them on. Next, I go with the uh, elbow pads. Then, putting the jersey on. This is an art. Sometimes you'll need a friend to help you put it on, but maybe this helpful tip will help you. What I do is I try to get it on my arms as best as possible. Get it up over your shoulder pads on both sides. Then dip your head through. So normally you can just get it through. Now all you need is your helmet, your gloves, and your twig, and you're ready to play. Have fun out there.